I'm doing what I I do majority of the time after lifting weights or even before lifting weights. And that's just reflecting on the day. You know, I'm reflecting on what I said in the day. I'm reflecting on what I did. I'm reflecting on my attitude, you know, towards myself and towards other people. I'm just thinking about everything that I did that day, that particular day, which is today. Sometimes I'll drift off and I'll think about what I did yesterday or the day before that or, you know, a year before that. And that's a mistake. I shouldn't do that to myself, but I always find myself doing that. And I should really learn how to let go of the past, you know, let go of shit that I did. It's not that I'm thinking about things that people did to me in the past. It's me always thinking about something that I did in my past. Like uh, something I said to somebody or how I treated somebody or um, just something that I did. And uh, that's a problem. Like I have a really hard problem of letting go of the things that I did in the past. And I should know better than that. You know, the past doesn't exist anymore. The past is gone. That's why it's the past. The only thing that matters is now and what you do with what you know now and later on, right? So I'm really trying to learn that. I'm really trying to to understand that and to beat that part of myself as far as holding on to regrets of the past because there's a lot of regrets that I have in my past as far as like I said, how I treated somebody or, you know, anything, you know. I just beat myself up. Like, I don't know why I do that, but I do. But I will, make, I'm, making a, I'm making a vow to myself right now that I will not hold on to any regrets from the past anymore. But, yeah, I was thinking about today and just the things that I said and did and all that stuff. And that's a normal thing for me. It's a normal thing for me to think about the things that I did in the day. At the end of the day, I'll, I'll do that. Or even in the middle of the day, I'll do that. And I'll be like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. And then I'll forget. And I'll go and do something else. And I'm like, damn it, I just told myself I wasn't going to do this thing. And I just did it again. So I'm really, I'm really trying to just... I'm trying to learn, man. I'm just trying to learn. I'm trying to learn more about myself as far as my temperaments and my attitude and, you know, stupid shit that I, I, I kind of snap at. Somebody told me about a year ago, they said, if you were any better, you'd be the Pope. And I'm like, you're far from it. Far from it, man. I appreciate it, but I'm far from it. And I don't want to be like the Pope. I don't want to be perfect. I want to, I'm, I'm going to mess up every day, of course. But if, as long as I can learn from my, my my mistakes, then we're on the right path. But I just I could just be a better man. I could be a better husband. I could be a better dad. I could be a better brother, uncle, cousin, son. I could be all those. I could be I could be better. I could be better, man. Can't we all? <laughs> And the reason why I say as I can be better is because it just, like, for example, I'll, I'll give an example for better son. I could call my mom and dad more, right? You know, they don't call me a lot. I don't call them a lot. I don't know how much time they got left in this world. But I could definitely call them at least once a week. I mean, granted, the phone works both ways, so they could call me, you know, once a week, too. But... You know, I'm not making it. It is what it is, right? It's like, I know it, so I should be able to act on it. I could be a better brother. Because, I mean, my brother's daughter had her birthday this past Saturday. And my wife had to tell me. And she said, hey, you're going to gonna FaceTime your brother and all say, we're all going to say happy birthday to, uh, you know, his daughter. You know, she just turned one. <laughs> we're going to say happy birthday. And I'm like, oh, shit, really? Yeah, let's do it. 
So I guess a good uncle would know that already, right? I could be a better dad. You know, I, I my daughter today, she was kind of in a grumpy mood today. You know, she was kind of, you know, being whiny about pretty much everything. And uh, she was laying on the couch kind of throwing a fit. And I tried to sit next to her and she got mad and said, no, I'm laying here. And she got up. And kind of threw a fit, and you know, a, a bigger tantrum. And I got up, and I threw, a, you know, a tantrum myself. I said, "What I say?" I said, "Fine, girl. Don't ask me for nothing today." She kind of looked at me. And she was like, she didn't, you know, you know, get sad or cry or anything about it. You know, she was cool about it. But she kind of looked at me like, "Damn, you're my dad. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna act like that." I feel bad about it, and she took a nap, and, you know, I went to the gym, and I didn't really get to apologize to her for that, so you know, I'm kicking myself in the ass for that. I could be a better husband, because, you know, I just got an argument with my wife when I pulled up to the gym about something stupid, about little money, sh- about money stuff, you know? And they're not even home right now, so I'm kind of like, you know, just regretting what I did earlier today, but all I can do... All I can do is just realize that and just be better, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry my ass inside, you know, start making dinner, get all that stuff together, and just have them arms wide open when they get in the door, man, and just tell them I'm sorry and... You know, hope they can forgive me. Obviously, I mean, they they do always forgive me, and I always forgive, you know, them. That's one thing about my kids, what they see is that, you know, we always apologize. I always apologize to my wife when something happens that, you know, I, you know we, I get mad about something or, you know, whatever, or my daughters, you know, I apologize to them all the time. And, you know, I always say, you, you forgive me? You forgive me? I was like, yeah, I forgive you you're my, cause, because you're my dad, uh, you know? And sometimes she'll do something and she'll come to me and she'll be like, you forgive me? And I'll be like, yeah, girl, I always forgive you, of course. You're my baby. <laughs> so, just I just want, man, forgiveness is a miracle. A lot of people, like, kind of, like, underestimate forgiveness and kind of sleep on it. And it's a miracle, man. If you think about it, really, like, forgiveness is a miracle. It's a blessing from God. So, you know, don't try try not to, like, that's the lesson I'm even teaching, t- trying to tell myself is don't hold on to anything. You know, you did what you did already, so now all you can do is just kind of move on from it and just keep following the path. But, yeah, that's, yeah, we're home now, y'all. All right.